Hi everybody. So today I'm so excited to share this recipe. I worked really hard on this recipe for several years, but over the last couple months, I've spent a lot of time pondering it and experimenting with it. And it is my very favorite milk chocolate, hot chocolate recipe. You're gonna love it. It's so warm and comforting and everything that hot chocolate should be. So here's how I do it. Four cups of whole milk. And what I'm gonna do is remove a quarter cup of this whole milk. And it's important that you don't skip on the fat, y'all. I know you think about your calories, I think about my calories, but you need full fat for things to taste really, really good. So we're gonna take a quarter cup of that and we're going to set it aside. Now, we are also going to add <clears throat> a half a cup of heavy cream, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and a half a cup of cocoa. And this one is very different. I love this. It's a quarter cup or a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you drink it, it gives this warmth in the back of the throat that is just so wonderful. Now, we are also going to make a little slurry to go in this. So we're first of all gonna put this on the heat on medium to medium low, and you're gonna have to stand there with it and watch it because it will burn very quickly on the bottom. I've done it before, it's very upsetting. So I don't want you to do it. Now, that quarter cup of whole milk that we set aside, we are going to put with a quarter cup of cornstarch. So what we're doing is a, a slurry. So you just whisk this together until all of the dry has disappeared. And this is going to become our thickener in the hot chocolate. If you've ever read The Polar Express before, it is such a wonderful book, but it talks about when they got on the train that they drank hot chocolate that was as thick as a melted chocolate bar. This is pretty similar to that. So we're gonna add, after we whisk in our cocoa and our sugar to our milks, we're gonna whisk this all together and add our cornstarch slurry. The reason why I came up with this recipe is because my husband and I were in Italy a few months ago and we were hiking the Dolomite Mountains. One day in particular was really hard for me. I'm scared of heights and we were on the edge of this mountain at the top of it and I was so scared that I needed to hold the tour guide's hand. <laughs> it was very upsetting. And then we had to go inside of the mountain where they had tunneled into it for World War II and I'm claustrophobic. So this was not my day. At the end of the day, I saw where we were gonna have dinner at this refugia, which are these little houses amongst the Dolomites. And I knew a half a mile out what I wanted, and that was a cup of hot chocolate. So I get there and I ask the waitress for a cup of hot chocolate and they bring it to me in a teeny tiny like little espresso cup. And my heart sank, I was so disappointed at the size of it, thinking I want something to really warm me up and make me feel good. And I took the first sip and it was wonderful. So wonderful, in fact, that I was okay with it being tiny like that. But when I got home, I wanted more. So I did different things to my recipe until I was able to get pretty close to that recipe and then improved upon it, I thought, in my opinion. Not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Now, we're gonna stay with that hot chocolate mixture and keep whisking and whisking and whisking for about five minutes until it thickens up. And then we're gonna add some chocolate chips to it and I'll show you what that looks like. My chocolate has simmered for about five minutes on medium and I've whisked the entire time. And look how thick it got in that time. Ooh, so it's already wonderful, but we're gonna take it beyond wonderful and make it amazing. So we're gonna put a cup and a half of milk chocolate chocolate chips. And I think it's important that it's milk chocolate. This is a very sweet hot chocolate, it's perfect. Now off the heat, because it's already hot, we are going to whisk in those chocolate chips until they are completely melted. Now, when I pour into a glass, I don't like making a mess, and so I am going to pour it into a liquid measuring cup and then pour it into my hot chocolate cup. And then we've got some really fun things to top it off with. And I, if you've seen my how to make marshmallows video, I um, made those marshmallows, but I piped them in the shape of a ghost and put two little mini chocolate chip eyes on it. And we're gonna top off our hot chocolate with that. My kids like lots of different toppings. So I'm gonna show you how I make it for my babies. So 
I'm going to very carefully, hopefully not making a mess, pour this, look how thick it is, this thick hot chocolate into that liquid measuring cup. And now we're gonna pour it into the cup of your choosing. Ooh, yes. And here's what I like to do for my babies. They love whipped cream, so you can make your own or you can just buy it. I like to buy it just so it's in the little nozzle and makes it really convenient. Now, then, oh, I forgot to put my kiss in it, but you can put a, a chocolate kiss at the very bottom of it. I'm gonna do it, okay, there it goes. Mm, okay, and then I like to take one of these little rolled wafer cookies so you can stir the Hershey Kiss so all that chocolate just doesn't sit on the bottom. You get to drink it. And if that wasn't enough, we're gonna take our little ghost marshmallows that I made since it's Halloween in a couple of days, and I'm gonna put that on top of the hot chocolate. It's probably insanely hot, but I'll take a cautious little sip. Maybe the uh, whipped cream will help me. Oh, so good. I hope that you will make this recipe and soon. And um, it's like a little hug from me to you. Enjoy, thank you for watching and please subscribe.